Dear students, in this module, I'm going to continue on elaborating the need for bioinformatics. Agar ye kaha jaye ke biology ki dunya itni wasi hai ke hum uske andar ek zare ke barabar malumat rakhte hain, to ye galat nahi hoga. Is baat ki tarjumani Donald Knuth, jo ke ek bahut bade computer scientist hain aur Stanford University mein professor hain, unhone in alfaz mein ye bayan kiya hai. Biology easily has 500 years of exciting problems to work on. Isse inka matlab ye hai ke biology ki dunya mein hum kuch bhi nahi jaante. Hum loon ko agar biology ko explore karna hai to ba asani 500 saal ke lag bhag wak chahiye. Aur is doran biology hume intihai munfrid aur dilchasp challenges se saamna karwati rahegi. Dear students, if you look at this graph, then you can see why Donald Knuth is right. The data that is being output from the biological experiments is simply going towards the sky. So if there is such a lot of data that is being produced from the biological experiments, we don't know what this size will be after 10 years. All we know for sure is that we will need a lot of bioinformatics to handle this data. This graph here shows the growth of the gene bank. So gene bank is one of the premier resources for genomic information and the base pairs of the DNA that are registered through experimental validation are listed with gene bank. So as you can see that with every passing year, the data is simply increasing at an exponential pace. If this pace was to continue, we will have a very difficult time in analyzing the data without using bioinformatics. Also, bioinformatics helps you to address a very unique problem in biology. That is the phylogenetic information or the tree of life. How did we evolve? Everybody asks this question. How did we come into the world? How did we grow? How did one organism evolve during its stay on the planet? All of these questions are very interesting. And if you look closely, most of the animals have two eyes. Most of the animals have either two arms and two legs or four legs. Even the birds, most of them have a pair of eyes. There is clearly some relationship between all of these species. And this relationship can be drawn by drawing up a tree of life. So bioinformatics helps you to do that as well. In this slide, as you can see, the relationship between bacteria, archaea and eukarya have been plotted and their common ancestor is shown at the root. So all of this can be done using bioinformatics strategies. So what can bioinformatics deliver? It can help you to understand evolution as I was just mentioning. At a bigger scale, it can help you to understand life itself. And of course, if we want to have treatments for different diseases that we encounter during this life, bioinformatics can be equally useful. If you understand the molecular foundation of disease, then later you can design drugs for it as well. Therefore, bioinformatics can be a very useful tool towards designing the drugs as well. So the contributions from bioinformatics can be to solve important problems related to life. Secondly, to handle the mammoth amount of data that is reported from the experiments. And thirdly, to develop efficient solutions towards these goals. So in conclusion, bioinformatics gives us a roadmap from the genomic information till the drug discovery and treatment of various diseases. Meanwhile, it helps us to understand life, evolution, the proteins, their mechanisms, the biomolecular evolution as well. And lastly, the cutting edge areas in bioinformatics, they include the protein structure, elicitation, 
the protein-protein interactions, and the field of systems biology as well.